What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We've got Mr. Trelawney here. Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? <laughs> of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Okay. Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, lead the way and we'll find out. So Mr. Trelawney has a friend that's got that intel for us. Here? You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. That's what I've been anyway, saying the whole time. While they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. We're trying to play both sides, and it, I mean, it, it works pretty well, but it's also a little bit nerve-wracking, because we could get caught up. And, uh... Come on. Hang back a bit, and let me do the talking. Find ourselves in trouble. Him off. So this guy's gonna have all the intel on the valuable stagecoaches around the area. Mustache. We're growing out our beard a little bit. You guys can see it's looking pretty good. Getting some length to it. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. <laughs> Terrible woman. <laughs> they often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. What's up, good sir? Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah... If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. So if we go to the post offices now, we're gonna be able to find the locations of these 
valuable uh, stage I you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. All right, let's go do it. Such a good boy, Frankie. You're killing it, bro. I love this horse, man. Okay, let's go this way. Frankie the first. Yeah. It was important because she was our first horse, but uh, Frank the second is is the man. I like him a lot. I'm hoping nothing happens to him. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. That's Dear a good point. Boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. So it sounds like there's going to be something going wrong. I feel like, uh, I feel like we wouldn't need to mention that otherwise. All right, here we go. It's time to rob yet another stagecoach. I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, our repeater on there and the sh shotgun on here. Here we are. This is the spot. And this is it. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, oh. open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. So we're robbing this thing a much smarter way. Right on time. Let's go. Keep we're not going to go in guns so blazing. See you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay. We're going to use the art of deception. Mr. Trelawney's going to go and distract him, and we're just going to take that box from the back. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. All right. Nice job. I'm gonna make sure we're following up still, even though we're watching this. Wait for Mrs. Damson to exit the stagecoach. Small show, but would you 
seem to do something for me. I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Oh, he's got her singing opera. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> I feel like we should have shut that thing so they wouldn't know. Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. I didn't see a button to shut it though. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, <laughs> magnifico. That box is so just open. Sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. That was clean, baby. And they'll never know. Beautiful work, my brother. Yeah. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for a while. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. I mean, I wasn't so sure about him, but he's already earning his keep, man. Gang got 3,000, or three, not 3,000, 300 and 75 bucks. We got 206 from something that easy. Yep. That was, uh, <laughs> Arthur just, just answered me. He's like, yep. That, uh, that's pretty cool, man. All right, we're going to go back. It looks like we've got a Micah Bell mission back here in camp. So let's uh, head that way. Oh, my God. You're a marked man in the state of Hold on a second. Run, horse. Run as fast and far as you can. Oh no. Okay, the horse ran, the horse ran, that's good. Got him. Gotta take these boys out. Oh, I can't aim that far. Got him? Woo. Dude, they blew up a wagon as a distraction right there. That was insane. Were those Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, those are those are Lemoyne Raiders right here. You can see the, the yellow bandana and everything. That was a cool I'll I'll give them that. That was a cool setup. I did not expect that. We just I, I love how you randomly get jumped in this game. Like I, obviously we're becoming more and more known. Causing more issues and I mean we're this is like a good playthrough, so we're honorable, but we're still causing issues out there. More people are learning about what we're doing and leads to to more enemies, I guess. The haters make me famous, ain't that right, Arthur? Alright, here we go. Come on. Let's go, little Frankie. We gotta get back home, boy. Michael, why do I feel like you're always uh, bad news? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, 
however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> All right, sounds like we got that sniper overwatch duty, baby. This should be good. I'm hoping we can actually whip out the sniper. Stay like hidden up on a hill or something. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Most definitely a trap. I mean, these two of the most notorious outlaw gangs in the world right now, and uh, there's no way they're coming to a truce. So things should get exciting here. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice... There we go, we are sniping. Settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. <laughs> As would I. My boys, appreciate that. Kind words. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. That makes me a little bit do we're we're gonna get Maybe he's right. Hold on a second. Let's make sure our weapons are good. I'll get the carbine. 
We have uh, better accuracy and condition. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the one. I guess we'll go with the Touch. rare one. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. I don't think that's Caring it. too much. There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice. Give me a second. We're gonna make sure our dead eye's good. We want um I'm looking for SIGs, bro. SIGs help out the dead eye and so do stogies. For all that might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. What about those four dudes However, that were up on the hill behind me? Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Come on. Let's go, bud. Yeah. So we're gonna go up on the hilltop. Over here. Huh? Okay. My fault. My fault. Let me feed you, bro. You're looking a little weak. You're good. <laughs> Should have been following the line. I'm gonna feed you and brush you so you get nice and clean. Looks good. Come on, pal. You're a good boy. Yeah. Oh. We made it. It's a dead dog up here? That's our boys. We're the Adriscals. That's three. Where's the fourth? Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. What a good man. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Ooh. I knew it. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not. <laughs> 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 Columns 
got a sense? Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this Bella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where do Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got it! I got it! Uh, uh, did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Uh. Did we just die? We just took a shotgun shot to the chest. Finally, what is weapons over there? Dude, what is happening? We gotta get out of this, Arthur. Come on, man. You can swing your shackles to reach the metal file. It can be used to pick your lock. Got it! <laughs> Gonna cauterize the wound. Are we taking the bullet out? I think we got the bullet out. Pouring gunpowder in there, what's that gonna do, seal it up? 
Now it's time to cauterize it. Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, he had throwing knives. Now we're gonna have to sneak our way out of here. What's still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> Leave the area on a horse, it says. Kill him. Recover our weapons. Cannot forget to do that. I guess let's loot him too. See if he has anything good. Platinum bands. Our horse is over to the right, but I'm gonna kill this dude too. Actually, just kidding, there's more dudes over there. I think it's gonna be best just get the heck out of here. I'd like to kill as many people as possible, but. Driscoll's are patrolling the roads. We've got to evade them. Okay. You're all right, girl. You're all right, girl. You'll be okay. I didn't even see that. That train just helped us out. I bet they couldn't hear us riding by because it was blowing its whistle right at that moment. Oh my goodness. I think we made it. I think we're in the clear. Dude, that was insane. I was not expecting that. I mean, I kind of I kind of knew something was going to happen with the fourth guy. That was terrifying. Did we get our, our sniper rifle back too? We can't even check our weapons. Oh no. We passed out. Our horse is gonna get us there though. Frank the second, come on baby, come up clutch. I know you can. <laughs> the best horse there ever was. Swanson's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. You can't pass on us, Arthur. Come on, bro. 
He's dreaming of hunting big bucks, eight point bucks, baby. It's a lot more than eight. A few weeks later, He survived. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Look well, at that beard. Not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. That is a healthy looking beard, my friends. My goodness. So if you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you've been watching this series, you know, we're kind of growing out his beard a little bit. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be a nasty boy. Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Oh, 100%. We're gonna go use some hair tonic, dude. Are you kidding me? I want to grow it out all the way just to see what it looks like. And then we'll probably cut some off into like a crazy mustache. And then, uh, then after that, we'll we'll end up uh, cutting back clean. I don't even know why I went to the right right there. Our tent Good is morning, over here to the left. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm trying to grow it out, trying to see what we could do, trying to, trying to see how nice we can make it. So I don't want to shave pomade hair. But that's not... That's not what we wanted. Do we have what it was asking for? Hair tonic. Increases the rate at which hair and facial hair grows. Well, that's the only one we had. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have to go to a general store and make sure we get some more. For now, our next mission is gonna be with Bill over in Rhodes, and even though that's just down the street, we did pay for the fast travel map here, so uh, we might as well use it. And while we're in Rhodes, maybe we should pick up some more of that hair tonic. Like I said, I, I just I kind of want to have some fun with it. I want to grow it super far out and then do like a crazy mustache and then maybe a slightly cr less crazy mustache and then just kind of work it down and then we'll probably end the game clean cut looking like the nice, handsome John Morgan, but... Uh, or Arthur Moore, John Morgan. What am I talking about, John Morgan? He's like a, a lawyer here in Orlando that has a bunch of ads on the radio and stuff. If any of you guys have ever been in Central Florida, you know what I'm talking about. But um, Arthur Morgan is who I meant. All right. Well, we made it. You're looking real nice today, Bill. We got Bill back behind us. Is everything closed? Was it Sunday? Why is everything locked? It's not, it's not that late in the day, is it? The general store is straight ahead on the left. Let's... Let's see what's going on. 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. Weird. Maybe it's just super early morning time and nobody's awake yet? It doesn't really look that early though. I don't know. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, <laughs> why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. So we stole their horses, made them think they needed security, and now we're going to be their security. We on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's dead. I mean, obviously. 
I, I, that was so fast, but I'm pretty sure I saw a skull. What is that? That was insane, so they must be on to us. You see a way out of here? All right now. They got us pinned in good. We're swapping out to the rifle. Get a little bit better accuracy up in here. I'm pinned in here. Now you're gonna pay. Now. They're cowards are in the gun store. I'll get the front. You take the back. Ooh. All right, so we're going in the gun store. Um. I don't really have a shotgun. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Okay. Hello. Oh, dude, this thing is sick. All right, I'm coming. I remember this from the trailer. Oh shoot! Nice work, baby. You're getting sloppy, Morgan. We got more guys coming here. Now it's sinking in. So much for you. What damn move? We Ooh. ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. Stop this running by and actually Morgan. fight. We boys. always get the job done. Ah. Oh, you always get the job done. See fail anywhere? Uh no. Shit. These guys on the horses are really hard to hit. You gotta like lose your shots. The grace rounded up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. This turns out to be sooner. See that? Slow down. Those cowards running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. We go Look loot this dude real quick. Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. How come every town we've ever entered in this game always turns into a shootout? You need to get a hold I'm just gonna take all the ammo we possibly can because there's a ton of ammo right here. You open this thing up? Nope. Alright. Sorry, I'm on my way. Just had to take a little detour. Oh, actually, we've got tons of people to loot. I'll be right there. All right, last guy. We got pretty much everybody. We're good. Oh, there's so many more up here too. So the sheriff is hiding out in here, huh? It's time for some dead eye. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way. You're a dead man. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Bang, 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 bang! Oh. We hit the pole on that guy. Oops. You good, Bill? That is disgusting. Kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. But you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka, best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Mike is bad Get news, man. He really side. is. Pair of fools. He... 
We've never done like a mission with him that ended up. I, I guess the, even the the the. Whatever it's called, the the carriage that we did with him in the river that ended up exploding and we got ambushed, like it was nothing like ever an goes right. Little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Stagecoach, the the stagecoach mission we did. That was the word I was looking for. But uh, anyway, guys. <laughs> There you have it. Roads in the surrounding area are now on lockdown. Remaining lawmen in the area will be looking for you. So that's that's not good news for us. Looks like uh, I mean we're we're gonna have to leave, man. There's there's no way we're gonna be able to stay in this area. So we're gonna go back to Dutch, and uh, yeah. I think it's gonna be time to ride out. Yeah. I I thought this was a good one, man. It seemed like a good idea to play both sides. It seemed like we were gonna be able to make a lot of money. I really liked our location on this little peninsula surrounded by water. We can fish, we can hunt, we can do everything. We were set up right, but uh, yet again, we took it one step too far. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to have to bail on this side of town now. Yep. Everybody's gathered up. It's about that time to start tearing down and get ready to leave. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn oh, son? Oh, no. Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We no. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything... I where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? Oh, no. We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Oh, the Aaron, whole cavalry's coming out, baby. turns up, you kill him. Rest of you. Let's ride. Let's ride, motherfudges. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Dude, this is really cool. We haven't rolled this deep ever in this game. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Dude, this is going to be six. Rolling what? eight deep. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. I really appreciate that Dutch is on the front, too. Like, he's leading the charge. He's going to get Jack back. Doesn't matter what happens. He's putting his neck out on the line. And here we go, boys. The long... Okay. Get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Long, lonely road up to this house. We trotted up this thing multiple times the past couple episodes. and About to make these streets run red with blood, baby. Some payback. Dude, this is so sick. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. Be a good girl. A good boy. Sorry, you're first not Frank the first, you're Frank the second. Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. 
Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Flying V formation. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Dude, this is so sick. Get down here now, you inbred trash! <gasps> Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? There's well, a lot more of us than you. you have with us, alleged or otherwise. That is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Well, what do we do about this? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Woo! It's on, baby! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, we gotta get we gotta get down because we're looking weak. In fact, we may want to uh eat some provisions. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some game that we just hunted not too long ago. Down. Center chest and in the head, and this dude's still alive. Oh my gosh. There you go, finally got him. Come on, baby. Got a guy up there. He's down. We got this. Ooh. Oh. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that price white woman! Jack! You in here? Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Both of these are locked, we'll just kick Jack. it in. Oh shit! Woo! Good night! We haven't used the pump yet. This thing is pretty dope. One second, brothers. I just realized these people are probably going to be super, super rich, huh? I'm coming. Where y'all at? Alright. Here we go. Grab your rifle by the chair if you need it. I feel like now's as good a time as any. Woo! Just the execution style, baby. They're done. A couple of them still got off. It's pretty amazing how easy we. Oh no! Hold on! 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 Um, let me let me just be a boss real quick. Boss up, smoke a cigar in the middle of the fight. That's right, baby. My name is Arthur Morgan, and I'm here to kick that ass. One, two. Oh no! We ran out already. We gotta, we gotta prep better next time. That dude is slowly sinking to the ground. Call me Quick Draw McGraw. He's down. 
A couple more to the right. Oh, they're coming up on the right. Oh, heavy. Hold on. I got you. How many guys I got? Hold down the four, baby. Do we even know if Jack is in here? Yo, Bill, are, are y'all hitting anything? We don't even know for sure that he's in there, but... Oh, we're gonna break this door? Okay. Come on, this must be it! Get my shotty back out. I can't see a goddamn thing! One, two, three! Good night. Where's the kid, miss? Kill you two old woman. You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You feel It's time to start cutting off fingers. All right, we get her out of here. What about down? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. I mean, this is kind of sad, but. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Oh, we're gonna burn it? You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. This is sad. I mean, they took the boy, but this is sad. You got that one, Arthur? You want me to get her? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. <laughs> what happened to my hat? I just realized we don't have our hat. We'll throw this one on for now. What the? When did that fall off? I didn't even notice. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Dude, what the? So it sounds like we're going to St. Denis next. Chasing down Jack. That was insane. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. I don't get that boy back safe. I'm... She... She'll kill us all. <laughs> I know, but... Looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. We sent a message. 
for living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. They're back. Lind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> oh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. <laughs> in that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. <laughs> I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! On the road yet again, boys. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Yep. Follow me.